Hey everyone, Brandon with Webster Mods here to show you the latest and greatest coming out of my workbench. This right here is my bladder shock building tool and it helps with just that, building some bladder shocks. I'm going to show you exactly how we do that step by step and why you need this tool and why this tool is so useful. So all of us that use bladder shocks, we, we realize that they're the harder shocks to build and build consistently and repeatable. Um, and I have the same problem. I struggle sometimes making shock to shock extremely uh, consistent, you know, the same from left to right. And that's a big problem I've had for a while. And that was the inspiration behind this tool right here. This tool helps set the initial fill level of your shock when building bladder shocks. So typically in a bladder shock, we're going to fill the oil level almost to the top. Don't worry about getting all the way because we are going to actually squeeze some out. And then I insert my bladder into the shot cap and then thread this shot cap about halfway on. Now, typically what we would do is we would push the shock shaft about halfway up. We'd eyeball it as we tighten this cap all the way down. That's going to push some excess fluid out the top, correctly setting our initial oil level. Um, the problems with that is sometimes one shock shaft can be pushed up a little farther than the other. Uh, we could fingers could slip and it's pretty inconsistent. Sometimes I have trouble keeping that very consistent So my tool what it does is it helps you with just that Knowing the shock has a shock shaft length of 38 millimeters Compressing it halfway is going to bring me to roughly 19 millimeters and that's where my tool comes in handy I'm going to find the 19 millimeter slot and I'm going to insert my shock shaft right into it All right, and then I'm going to compress. A nice little cutaway for that shock boot if you are running shock boots. And now I have my shock shaft at exactly 19 millimeters. And I am able to tighten down my cap. And as I tighten down my cap, you can see the excess oil flowing out. This is setting the initial oil level at a repeatable and accurate level, which is required for building a very consistent bladder shock. Once I slowly turn this cap all the way on and she gets real nice and tight, I can remove it from my tool and I can wipe it down. And now I have a shock that has an initial oil height that is set exactly and this tool can also set your rebound as well. If you're running a full rebound, obviously you don't need it. If you're running no rebound, you don't need it. But it'll be able to set halfway and anywhere in between as far as bladder rebounds. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is going to be going on my Etsy shop today. And I'm going to be asking $16 per unit. Thanks, everyone.